to HC1's History Corner Trivia. For the next few months, we will learn about one of these fantastic minds who've made profound achievements in the medical field. This week we have... My name is Rosalind Yallow, an American medical physicist and the first American woman to win a Nobel Prize in physiology or medicine. And today I'd like to welcome our guests, Dom and Ryan. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. I was born in the Bronx, New York, and raised in a Jewish household. After high school, I attended an all-female, tuition-free college where my mother hoped I'd be a teacher. I instead went into physics. The mid-1930s was a thrilling time for physics, but especially for what kind of physics? Is it A, medical physics, B, nuclear physics, or C, quantum physics? B, nuclear physics. The correct answer is B, nuclear physics, my field of choice. In 1941, the U.S. joined the war effort and educational institutions hired and trained women rather than shut down. I accepted a teaching assistantship at a university in Chicago where I was the only woman in a staff of 400. At age 26, I joined the Veterans Administration Hospital in the Bronx to develop a radioisotope service department and converted a janitor's closet into my first laboratory. In 1950, oh, this is question two, Dom. Feel free to jump in anytime. In 1950, who joined my small team that kicked off a lifelong collaboration? Is it A, Joseph Lister, B, Louis Pasteur, C, Solomon Burson? Dom. Lister. Ooh. The correct answer is Solomon Burson. Burson was my research partner for 22 years, but the audience will learn more about him in the next game. Question number three. Burson and I first attempted to use radioisotopes to estimate blood volume more accurately, and soon we tested our methods with insulin. Insulin was an interesting subject to me because its pure form was easy to obtain, but also because someone in my life had diabetes. Who in my life had diabetes? Was it A, myself? B, my husband, or C, my daughter? Husband. That is correct. C, teamwork makes the dream work, <laughs> folks. In my 19... <laughs> In my 1977 Nobel lecture, I listed over 100 biological substances one could measure using RIA. Despite radio immunoassay, having substantial commercial potential, Burson and I refused to patent it. Congratulations to our winner, I'm not really confident who that was. Well, they technically tied. We tied. <laughs> but I there. also helped him get one right by oh. bringing him into the conversation. Yeah. So I probably get an award. He might win, but I get Ryan right with the assist, really. I yeah. mean. Thank you for joining me to learn more about Burson and my discovery of radio immunoassay. And we'll see you again next time. Oh, you're supposed to have buttons. I'll be right back. Oh, oh. come on. What kind of Mickey Mouse operation <laughs> is this? But before we go, you both get this extremely attractive caricature of me. Thank you. <laughs> Until next time.